Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason and plot. Around 1605 the country was Protestant and did not tolerate Catholics. But when James I of England and James IV of Scotland came to the throne, he promised Catholics tolerance. But when he came to the throne in England, he broke his promise and the Catholics were fined and the priests were hung, drawn and quartered. For those who do not know what this means, it means the criminals were hung by the neck until they were half dead. Cut down, laid on a table, cut open, have their guts pulled from them whilst they're just semi alive. And then once their guts have been removed and whilst you're lying there, they cut you into four pieces whilst you were still alive and sent those four pieces to the four corners of England. A group of Catholics were horrified that the king had broken his promise and set out to kill the king. Robert Catesby, Thomas Winter, Robert Winter, John Wright, Christopher Wright, Robert Kays, Sir Thomas Percy, Lord John Grant, Sir Ambrose Rockwood, Sir Edward Digby, Sir Francis Tresham and Catesby's servant Thomas Bates and of course Guy Fawkes and they all plotted to kill the king. They all met and made their plans to blow up Parliament and take control over the country. They bought a room beneath Parliament and brought several barrels of gunpowder and stored it in the room. Before Parliament, Parliament was due to meet, the King discovered the barrels of gunpowder and waited till Guy Fawkes was due to light. On November the 5th, 1605, Guy Fawkes was ready to light when the King burst in with all his soldiers and arrested Guy Fawkes. The others fled and raised armies to try and finish their plan to take over the country. But they were caught in a barn. Some were shot trying to escape. The rest were hung, drawn and quartered. The king came out victorious. Parliament loved him for saving their lives. So, remember, remember, the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot.